In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nine days efficacious novena to the sacred heart of Jesus. O oh my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, Ask and you will receive, Seek and you will find, Knock and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek, and I ask for the grace of the following intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall it be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O oh, my Jesus, you have said, Truly I said to you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Behold, in your name, I ask the Father for the grace of the following intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall it be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O oh, my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for the grace of the following intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall it be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Let us pray. 
O Sacred Heart of Jesus, for whom it is impossible not to have compassion on the afflicted, have pity on us miserable sinners and grant us the grace which we ask of you through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, your tender mother and ours. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To we do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn the most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Mary Margaret Alacoque, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reflection On this eighth day of our novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we reflect on the topic, You shall rise and live again. And we shall read from the Gospel of John, chapter 11, from verse 38 to 44. Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an order, for he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you will believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. I knew that thou hearest me always, but I have said this on account of the people standing by, that they may believe that thou didst send me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with bandages, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. My dear friends, the Gospel narrative tells us about the sickness and death of Lazarus, a close friend of Jesus. In fact, the Gospel tells us that Jesus loved Lazarus and his two sisters, Martha and Mary, that we see in John chapter 11 from verse 4 to 5. Lazarus represents all of us as Jesus loves us with the same degree and intensity of love he had for Lazarus. In fact, the story of Lazarus serves to relate to us the depth and compassionate love of Jesus in our lives. Notice that when Jesus got the news about the severe illness of Lazarus, he did not go immediately, but he delayed for two days. And within that period of delay, Lazarus died. But we need to know that in human terms, what we call delay is in God's perspective a design. Yes, a design that will unleash the glory of God. When Jesus finally showed up, Lazarus was already dead and had been in the tomb for four days. His sisters, Mary and Martha, were hurting and painfully complained to the Lord, If you had been here, our brother would not have died. What they didn't know was that there was no time Jesus was not with them. Even when he was physically absent, he was still with them. That was why he said to his disciples, Lazarus is sleeping, and I will go and wake him up. When Jesus saw Mary and the crowd weeping, 
he was deeply moved in spirit and Jesus wept. Jesus was not weeping because the chapter of Lazarus is closed forever. Jesus did not weep because he wouldn't be able to raise Lazarus from the dead. Jesus wept to tell us that he identifies with our pains. He knows how painful life is without us. Jesus wept because he knows what we pass through. Jesus wept because he knows that we cannot help ourselves. Jesus wept because he knows that we are heartbroken and that the word of God tells us in Psalm 34 verse 18 that God is close to the brokenhearted and those whose spirits are crushed. Coming to the tomb in that same compassionate mood, Jesus asked them to take away the stone at the mouth of the tomb. This is a lesson for us to be ready to move all the barriers that will potentially stop us from having that reviving contact with the Lord. Sometimes there are some areas of our lives we don't want to lay open to the Lord because we think it will be all stench. Like Martha complained that it is already four days now and the order will be horrible. Hmm, not so my dear. Just lay it open to the Lord. You will be shocked that there will be no order. The word of God says in Revelation chapter 21 verse 5, Behold, I make all things new. In Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, the word of God says, Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they will be as wool. When the stone was moved, the Lord called upon Lazarus just once. And the dead man answered. That means he came back to life. He jumped out, literally. After four days in the tomb, a man whose obituary had been published came back to life. Those who were mourning started a feast of joy. But before then, something needed to be done to untie him from the dead clothes. Those dead clothes represent our past mistakes, our past missteps, our inherent attitude and dispositions. Jesus said, untie him from those things so that he can live fully and have a better life than he had in the past. My dear friends, I invite you to bring all the dead situations of your life to the Lord. Do not be ashamed of them. Jesus knows how you feel about them. And he is calling out to you for revival. You shall rise and live again. I pray for you today that all the dead situations in your life will be called back to life. I pray for you today that all the mortified situations in your life will be revived and rejuvenated. I pray for you today that you have a deep regeneration through the powerful name and precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the sacred heart of Jesus Christ abide with you. Amen. God bless you.